everybody, this is Snickle Fritz. He likes sleeping and eating and headbutting you and being cute. And that's all he has to worry about. He doesn't have to worry about finding a life partner or paying his mortgage or what his hair looks like today. Just live in the life, eh, Snicks? You can follow him on Instagram and Twitter at Snickle Says. Oh, yes. Dreaming of more followers. It's Thursday. This is Lauren in real life. Still in my pajamas, working on my computer, um, trying to figure out how I'm going to put together today's video, this one that you're watching right now. This is the reason I quit YouTube last fall when I started doing it. I was like, it's so much work to put together these videos all the time. Um, and yes, I could just keep doing all this random stuff, but I feel like that's not good enough. I feel like everyone's got like a structure on YouTube and like they're making different shows and like, yeah, I've done pretty good. I've got like the Ask Lauren, I've got top five, I've got this in real life vlog thing, but I feel like there has to be something else. I'm missing something on this channel and I don't know what it is. Maybe there's something... I know there's like a really good idea that I just haven't thought of yet. I keep going back and forth from shooting on my phone here to shooting on my nice camera and doing more like personal life coaching or something. I'm not doing, that's not what I want to do. But I feel like I'm doing that just by telling you like my stories and experiences. Look at this cool necklace that Lorena gave me. It's like molten lava from Mexico. It's supposed to align your chakras if you wear it. So I'm wearing it and I feel very... I feel very centered. Matt and I were out the other night and, and looking at her Plenty of Fish account. We are fishing. Uh, Natalie's on Plenty of Fish and I've never used a dating site in my Newly life. Newly on Plenty of Fish. And it's hilarious. It's Based more for the fun. Okay, so I don't want to be mean, but guys, like, if you're going to post a photo on the internet, don't blank out the person beside you. Don't post a photo with your grandmother or your mom. That, I can't even tell what you look like. Okay, that guy's okay. Okay, that you didn't even think about taking. You just took it. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> That's a professional business photo. That is weird. <laughs> That's an ad in a local newspaper. <laughs> what? Why are you covering your face? <laughs> Do you have herpes? <laughs> oh, there's no one to meet, Nat. We are social media fiends. Where are all your good selfies? Where are all your photos like... Great photos that you true. took at the beach or like of your body in the bathroom mirror. Like where are those photos? <laughs> it's very true. And I've tried all of them. Tinder, um, what's that? Okay you Cupid. You had some luck on Tinder though. Yeah, Tinder was good. Um, but then I tried all these other things and these guys, I'm not sure. Toronto is very interesting. <laughs> the world is interesting. Actually, if you're watching this and you think Natalie's hot, <laughs> Let's just use, use my YouTube as a dating service. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> so I don't want to come off mean and judgmental because I, that's not what I meant by like analyzing those photos. But seriously, like everyone out there wants to meet somebody. And so many people are using online dating sites. And I think it can just get really sketchy. Like how are you supposed to trust people when most people are like catfishing and like posting photos that aren't of them? And then the people that are telling the truth, bless them, they're just posting terrible photos of themselves and like they're not marketing themselves properly. Like if you really want to meet someone, shouldn't you have like a better game plan or like just like it's like marketing a product. Like you have to have a cool looking photo of your product that makes people want to buy into it. And from, you know, going through her Tinder and going through her plenty of fish... I don't get it. And I think girls take a little bit more care when it comes to posting their dating profile photos and guys, because guys are just like, they don't care, right? But like, you do need to care a little bit, I think. If you would like help, you know, putting together your dating profile, throw it my way. Maybe I can help you because I feel like, I don't know, I'm not a matchmaker by any means. If you're a good reader of people, I think you can do a good job at like kind of matching people up and also like helping them make good dating profiles. <laughs> I'm curious to know who else out there is single who's feeling the struggle of like how are you supposed to meet anybody? Well, like obviously a Natalie and other people I know are like fine and happy single but like they want to meet somebody like you want to have like you know partner in crime like a life partner whatever. I have friends too who have met like 
people they've married and had kids with on Match.com and Plenty of Fish. So it can be done, but it does seem so desolate and so impossible. Like there's this one guy that she was messaging with and actually I sent the first message because it was a little bit of like a fun game. And this guy had like profile photos that like actually look, he looked he looked good, but like he was covering his face. You could only see his mouth and his chest, and then there was one of his body. And in his profile, he goes, I'm in an on-again, off-again relationship, hence the discreet photos. We're still trying, I'm trying to figure things out. And then it's like, so you're on a dating site and you're trying to hook up with girls or go on dates with other girls? Like, why don't you just fucking buck up and get out of your relationship if you're not happy? Or like, be honest with your current girlfriend and be like, I don't want to be with you. Like, what is with guys who like, just get complacent and like are scared and then drag people along like that. On one hand, this guy's honest by saying that on his dating profile and on the other hand, he's a jerk because he's basically cheating on his girlfriend and this whole on again, off again thing. Oh my God, I don't know. I could talk about relationship stuff all day. It's so confusing to me. So we messaged this guy because I wanted to see like, would he get back to us? Would he send us more pictures? Like, would he like, what, what does he want on the dating site? He wants an out. He wants an easy out from his relationship. He is too much of a pussy to break up with his girlfriend and be honest with her. So he's looking for an out through plenty of fish. It makes me so mad. And it's crazy to me what people do and like how they lie and like get away with stuff for so long and people don't know. Uh, talk to me out there. People have been watching my videos, but I feel like we're not having like a dialogue. I don't know. What are you doing? What do you want to do? What do you like on YouTube? What what do I do on here? I feel like I was I had this good momentum at the beginning and now I'm hitting this like roadblock of like what am I even doing on YouTube? And because I'm partnering with Kin, which is amazing, I feel like a little bit now of this pressure of like, oh no, I got to deliver and I got to grow consistently and blah 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 and I don't want to think about that. I want to just think about being me, turning on the camera and not really worrying about it. I don't want to worry about numbers and subscribers and stuff like that cuz I think that that's not important. And I think if you chase after that, it's never gonna happen. Whereas if you just do what you wanna do and not worry about it, like let it go, then things will happen as they're supposed to. Anyway, thanks for being here through this interesting journey that I'm on. All right, I'm gonna go do work now. Bye-bye.